Love After Lockup, and we had a great episode. So let's just dive right in. Starting off with Vince and Amber, and this is the only couple that I was dying to see what happens, and screw you, Love After Lockup producers, because they didn't reveal much. Okay, I am sitting at the edge of my seat. Literally, if you can see, on what the hell is going on with Amber and Vince. Like, is this guy scamming her? Is he trying to use her? Put in the comments if you guys have any speculation. I have no idea. He could either be a really awkward guy, or maybe he is just using her to get money from the army, or who knows? But I was, I was super excited all Friday because I was gonna watch this episode, and I figured they would reveal what Vince is doing to Amber. But guess what? Not a whole lot happened. <laughs> but what did happen was Amber did confront Vince and just kind of said, like, are you using me? Are you scamming me? What are you doing? And he just, uh, he kind of froze up. He didn't have much to say. And that's why I'm saying, like, either he's just a really awkward guy and he doesn't have much to say and he's, he's just nervous and he's awkward or he is totally using her. So put in the comments below if you have any speculation. I'm just out of clues and I don't know if this show is ever going to freaking admit and show what Vince is doing. Then there was Lacey and Sean and guess what? They finally hooked up and according to Sean, it was incredible. It was great, it was amazing for him. For her, she seemed to just add a good time too, I guess, I don't know. But it, yeah, they hooked up and then the next day, he met her dad. Now, first off, her dad was crazy hard on him, but you can kind of understand why, because the guy was a convict, he just got out of jail, and Lacey was already engaged, or still is technically engaged, to this John guy. So you can kind of understand where her dad's concern is coming from. But yeah, he was just grilling this guy, this poor 21-year-old guy, I and mean, I kind of felt bad for him, I felt for him. I've been in his shoes, kind of, but I get it. I get where the dad is coming from. I get it where Sean is coming from. Sean handled it pretty well, and Sean legitimately seems to just love this girl. And Lacey seems to kind of just love him too. I don't know if it's just, uh, you know, puppy love or whatever, or if it's actual true love. Like I said last episode, I think they got married, so they must kind of be in love, but not much happened with them. They hooked up, Sean met Lacey's dad, and I think overall, honestly, for how hard her dad was on him, it was actually a pretty good first meeting. He was really hard, but Sean answered the questions pretty well. He was being honest, and I think it actually kind of went pretty well. The next couple, and this is a crazy couple, is Glorietta and Alexander. And oh my God, guys. These two are crazy. Now when I say two, I'm kind of just re referencing Glorietta. Now hey, no offense Glorietta, I love how passionate and you know awesome you are about how much you love this guy, but holy shit, she's moving fast. I mean, she wants this guy, she wants to have babies with him, she wants to be married to him, and she keeps saying she's in love with him, and I'm just sitting there watching it going, wait a second, two episodes he was calling this other girl that he was supposedly in love with. So. I, you know, I don't know if, if this girl's ever gonna find out, but the crazy thing is you would think if you're Alexander and you're already kind of talking to another girl, you're not very faithful, obviously you don't love this girl as much as you appear, you would kind of distance yourself maybe, but this guy is full on, head over heels, he's going along with the script and he's acting like he's in love with this girl. He even got down on one knee, he's doing all this crap. So I am just like, what is going on with these two? So in the last episode with these two, he went and took her out for a romantic date, then he went and got her a new ring, he got on one knee, Glorietta was hyperventilating, she was crying so bad, she was so excited, it was a mess. They had a little itty bitty fight at first because Alexander is firm on his Muslim religion and Glorietta is a Christian or Catholic or whatever, but then once he gave her that ring, she said, you know what, our kids can be Muslim. So, and I'm just, like I said, I'm sitting there watching this going, this guy, a couple, two days ago or a day ago, was calling another girl. So I don't know what his plan is. Maybe she has a little bit of money and he's kind of thinking, hey, maybe I'll ride it out. I don't know. They're, they are a crazy couple though. And second to last but not least is Cheryl and Josh. But before I cover them, let's jump real quick on Angela and Tony. 
Angela somehow got his phone that she bought for him and she read all these texts with a Michael, which is really uh, Michelle. He just put Michael in the contacts so he could, you know, disguise it. And he's in love with this other Michelle girl. She read the text and I think she might actually be moving on. Now, hey, Tony is a smooth talker. He could persuade her. But she was pretty set in stone, and if I could, and that, that's all they showed, it was just her reading the text, she flipped out, she said, we're done, I'm leaving him, he, she didn't really tell him, but then that was it, so hopefully if she can open up her eyes, maybe she'll end up going out with that Tommy guy, her friend, because he seemed to be there through the thick and thin of everything, he seemed to be a good guy, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, now last but not least is Cheryl and Josh. I love, I hate, and I'm everywhere in between on this couple. I just, I, I don't even know. Josh has his own problems, Cheryl has her problems, and then to make matters worse, they got Josh's mom in the mix, who just really makes things worse. But uh, Cheryl's real dramatic, Josh can get fired up pretty quick. So I just don't know what I think of this couple. They went to go to a reunion party because now Josh is back. It was a you know welcoming home party for the guy. Uh, Josh's mom was there. It was crazy awkward between Cheryl and Josh's mom and then Josh's mom's husband or boyfriend, Kenny. Crazy awkward because they had that whole incident with you know the mom, the boyfriend, and Cheryl and the accusations. Blah, blah, blah. It was awkward. They were talking about even breaking up at one point. For the amount that these two people fight, I wouldn't be totally against them breaking up. Well, hey guys, that was it from last night, Love After Lockup. One of my favorite shows, not my all-time favorite show. I'm still a bigger 90 Day Fiance fan, but it's pretty good. Put in the comments below what you guys think of last night's episode of Love After Lockup.